with a no back look for the Huskies. And Brunel drops it off into the hands of Kaufman. Kaufman broke the first tackle down at the 37 yard line. Pass complete. Penalty marker down, first flag of the game. So now it is third down, and defensively, the Wolverines this year have been very good against third down. Brent, they went for a period there of 26 third down situations in a row and did not allow the offensive team to convert. The option, this is Kaufman, won't get the first down. Well stretched out, and Corwin Brown, the hitter in that secondary, pops him out of bounds. High, taking a Washington hop, and Wardell gets one inside the 20 again. They will operate without the huddle. First and 10. Wheatley smacked at the line of scrimmage. Gerback pointing to his slot man as Wheatley trots in motion. He'll look toward the left side, and incomplete. Third and long now. The draw play with Wheatley. First down and Wheatley to the 45 yard line with Parkour hanging on. Kokozo gets down in that pit ready to take on the defensive lineman again. And it is Wheatley to midfield and Parkour. The free safety being forced to make too many stops if you had this Husky defense. Three carries for 32 yards already for that young man who just stepped in motion. Gerback on the short drop fires complete to the 45 yard line and Josh Moore is defending Felman Malvo. The ball just across the 45 yard line. First and 10 for the Wolverines. Their opening possession Ricky Powers first carry. Fumble. Waiting for the official signal. Bernie Leggett getting up from the bottom of that pile, and he appears to have saved the moment for the Wolverines. Now, second and long. Straight ahead, and penalty flags come flying as DeMarco Farr appeared to be offside. And the offside penalty moving the ball to the 41 yard line. Draw play Wheatley. Wheatley to the 37 yard line. This will be third and short. Smith in motion. Gerbeck. Pocket holds up. He's got Smith for the first down. Smith is out of bounds inside the Washington 30 yard line. First and ten. Leggett to the 25 yard line. Gerback sets the screen. Alexander in the middle. And coming from behind was Steve Hoffman. There was a penalty on this play, and it apparently is going to go against uh, Michigan. Elvis Gerbeck in his final. Substitution infraction against the offense. Penalties declined. Third down. <laughs> Washington has been really tough to convert third down situations in all year, only giving up 25% success against them on third down. Because of their kicking game, you would think that Michigan would be thinking two downs to get a first down in this situation. We'll have to see how that unfolds as Gerbeck has time and throws to McGee incomplete. McGee being covered by the linebacker Hoffman that time and the ball was just a little high. Well the Wolverines are going to attempt an Elizabeth field goal here. Despite the injury that he suffered if they go through with it the ball will be put down at the 32 yard line. Good. 41 yards and a morale boost for Michigan early. So now Lovell will kick it off. And they drive Kaufman deep into the end zone. It'll come out on the 20 yard line. They trail it by a field goal. 
Burdell hands and Kaufman is pounded by McThomas. Second and ten. Here's the toss to Kaufman. Daylight, and he made the most of it. Ty Law gets him out of bounds. Turner is the fullback for the Huskies. Brunel trying to get away from the pressure and doing what he does extremely well. Out of bounds at the 41 yard line, running for a Washington first down, 17 yards. And Shante Peoples goes to the Michigan sideline. Play fake by Brunel. Receivers are covered. Throws complete to Shelley. Inside the 40 yard line. 19 yards to Jason Shelley. Actually, Shelley is a true freshman, not a redshirt freshman out of Vallejo. Kaufman to the 36. Jay Berry comes out in the slot as Turner goes in motion and with no backs. Brunel's got the tight end, Bruner. Bruner to the end one yard line. It's marked down. And Bruner arguing that he had scored his first touchdown of the season. But they'll spot it at the one, a gain of 35. Now Jones and Turner give Kaufman an extra blocker as Jones leads the way Kaufman stop Kaufman following the two fullbacks into the middle and Matt Dyson swatted in Dyson on one side and Hutchinson on the other side push him back inside Brunel gives you an option look down here if you want it also straight hand to Kaufman up over the top piles into the heart of that defense And this is some stand being waged by the heart of that goal line defense for Michigan. I don't know. Close. Now third and goal. Oh, the top is the fullback. So Darius Turner with the first touchdown of this Rose Bowl. Eric Bjornsson, the wide receiver and a converted quarterback, will hold for Travis Hansen, who is from Spokane, Washington. Hanson makes it a 7-3 Washington lead. This is Wheatley. Picks his way. Wheatley to the 32. <laughs> this is Wheatley. To the 33 for a couple of yards. And here Gary Moeller and the Wolverines are trying to win a Rose Bowl title for the Big Ten, which is having a tough, tough season. Buckeyes beaten by Georgia earlier in the Citrus. Here Gerback. On a short drop, throws high to Wheatley. And Gerbeck has thrown a couple of balls high, Bo Schembechler. Anything you've noticed with his throwing delivery? Well, you know, when you throw that ball laterally that far, that's a very difficult pass to throw. And he's just a little bit off target. Third down, Michigan has to get to the 41 for a first down. Gerbeck sprinting to the left. Blind side gets it off complete to Hayes. Hayes to the 44 yard line and a first down. Ed Davis checks in as the tailback and Wheatley is out. This is Davis behind Leggett and Davis finds a crack and battles his way across midfield to the Washington 49 yard line. Good looking run Dick. Ed Davis hasn't carried the ball that much this year. He's just a red shirt freshman. Powers blocking for Gerbeck. Gerbeck goes to Alexander and he overthrows him. Well, here comes third and three for the Wolverines. Trailing Washington, seven to three. 
2 14 to go opening quarter. Powers is the tailback in motion. Kerbeck off a of fake to Leggett's got the middle open. He's got McGee. Touchdown Michigan. There is a penalty flag down. Hold on there's a penalty flag. Defense offside. Defense offside. Chest. That was an awfully clever design. And, you know, I think they called that with knowledge of what the defense was going to be in that third and, and three situation, and they designed a play specific for that. And a lot of times you have those in game plan, and you never get that situation. They got it executed, and Gerbach got it done. This is Barry from the three. Barry, the ball game. Barry to the 25-yard line. And a first down handoff to Kaufman slides through that opening to the 29 yard line. We have an injured offensive lineman down appears to be Peterson. Here comes Andrew Peterson off. He was the most improved offensive lineman in this past spring. So now it'll be second down for Washington but second and five. And Brunel off a play fake under pressure steps away from Stanley. And he'll throw this one away. He got away from the charge by Stanley. There is a penalty flag down at the 30 yard line. The legal receiver downfield. Now it'll be third down for the Huskies. They're coming They're after coming. Brunel steps away from Dyson Peoples behind him and he is pushed out of bounds near the first down marker. And he did just get it. Bjornsson the slot receiver to the right. Brunel on first down and his receiver slipped. Jones the fullback slipped at the 37 yard line. Bjornsson in motion the draw to Kaufman and Kaufman well defended by Tony Henderson. Kaufman eight carries 11 yards Michigan's defense doing an excellent job against the talented tailback. Brunel throwing under pressure and there was no receiver standing no, he's there. Call that. There was no receiver there. That one. Moves the ball back inside the 20. The down marker flips to fourth, and the Huskies will use Verdell with Alexander set to give the Wolverines what they hope will be excellent field position. He hangs it high. One hands it, a fumble. Huskies recover at the 49, and a penalty flag is down. Yeah, they interfered with his right to catch a football. They didn't give him that few feet that they're supposed to give him right there. They hooked his arm. You'll see it right there. See him right there. He bumped right in. Alexander did not have a chance to make that. You've got to give him room to catch. Even though it's not a fair catch, you must give him room to feel that ball. The white jersey had sealed him up toward Alexander, and he had no place catch to go. Interference against the kicking team. 15-yard penalty. First down. This is a huge break for Michigan. That's a good call. That's a good call. Michigan gets a first down. They get the ball. It's a huge turnaround in this Rose Bowl. The ball is now inside the 40, and it's Gerback gonna go for it on first. He's got Alexander out of Michigan leading 10 7 over Washington. The Huskies trying to win for the third straight time. That would be a first. Michigan has other ideas. Smith in motion. Wheatley. Nowhere. Tommy Smith came up from his rover position to take him on first. Smith pressing again at the line and then backs off. Gerbeck gets time. 
Rebecca Alexander incomplete with Bailey covering him. Boy, Coach Moeller sure not playing it close to the best. Third and ten, he's going for the big one. And a penalty flag with the clock running down. Dead ball. Delay against the offense. Kaufman standing back at the Husky 11. Oh. <laughs> back him up 50 yards and let him go. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> he, he hadn't hit one like that all year, and now he hits one out there. <laughs> Now Brunel hands to Jones and Hutchison takes him on at the 23 yard line and down we go to Julie Moran. Julie. Well Brent I'm here with a former Husky and a number one draft choice for the 49ers Dana Hall and Dana you were here won the Rose Bowl last year and now you have a shot at the Super Bowl. I'd say it's been a pretty good year for you. Yeah so far so good you know last year was a very exciting experience for me winning the national championship being out in the Rose Bowl. And now to have the opportunity to play in the playoffs and make them to the Super Bowl is uh, very exciting. But you had a pretty tough assignment covering Desmond Howard last year. It was tough, but uh, old Desmond only came out of the game with one catch, and uh, I think a lot had to do with he didn't respect me at all, and I think he does now. So can Washington win three in a row? Well, I hope so. It's uh, you know it's tough right now as they're having a tough time out there, but if the, if the offense can get rolling, I think we can get this one. Washington. Will have to play at its best now to come from behind again. Brunel's option. This is Jay Berry being tried at tailback. And you have got to be impressed with the way the Wolverine defense is hitting. Morrison has been in on a couple of plays. Maloney is out there. And Dyson. That's a return type punt. Real low if they can get over and get to it. Can't get to it. I think the coaches told Alexander to stay away from it when you had yeah. good field position. Yeah. He was, was a... headed for the locker room, yeah. folks. First and ten now for the Wolverines. They lead it by a field goal. Wheatley and Huffman took him on at the 44-yard line. Well, here is second down. This could be a throwing situation for the Wolverines as Gerbeck checks quickly with Wheatley. Leggett goes out. No backs. Short drop. Once Wheatley almost intercepted, Josh Moore had it in his hands. Tony McGee standing up as a tight end. Wheatley. Wheatley explodes. They won't catch him. Put it on the scoreboard. Elizabeth. Bo Schembechler, I want you to tell our audience about the conversation you had this year with Tyrone Wheatley. Well, uh, uh, the backfield coach asked me to talk to him, and I merely asked him whether he wanted to be a track man playing football or a football player running track. And uh, he told me he wanted to be a football player. I said, well, then you have to start to practice like one and play like one, because he hadn't done it up until then. <laughs> he looked like a football player on that run, didn't he, folks? Now, here's another football player. Hoffman needs to respond. Out to the 25. Now first and 10. Turner. And it is a swarming Michigan defense. Up by 10. Led by Greg McThomas doing the job. Now on third down. Short drop Brunel. Fires. And a diving reception by Joe Kralik. And he's injured on the catch. Trying to get something happening here before the intermission. A fake to Kaufman. Stanley's coming. Brunel steps away from him. On the run, he'll go deep. It's Shelley inside the five. Shelley, touchdown Washington. He crossed and broke the plane of the end zone. Carwin Brown, the free safety, number 20, you'll see on your screen here, was right where he ought to be. You'll see him come in here. He just misjudges it. Look at him. He's looking at the ball all the way. Now, he goes for it. He should go for it. It's highest point right there, but he didn't get there quite quick enough. Excellent job by Shelley.
Travis Henson adds the extra point. 17 14 on the board. Michigan leading, and Mercury Hayes, one of the deep men. Hayes back in the end zone, and he will wisely kneel down. Wheatley had to run in and quickly say, take a knee. But the Huskies get a badly needed touchdown. And now Gerbeck off that short drop fires to his tight end who was pounded at the 25 yard line. McGee hit by Fields. We have a man down. That is Walter Bailey. He is their best cover man. You can just listen to this pop. Reggie Reeser comes off the Washington bench. Number five will replace Bailey for the time being. And the young man will have a huge responsibility. He's up in a bump and run look here against Malvo on second down. Now Reeser backs away. Gerbeck looks the other way and gets it into Wheatley's hands. Wheatley breaks a couple of tackles before they finally swarm him down at the 26. Wheatley's in motion. Gerbeck. Gerbeck with plenty of time and a diving reception by Alexander at the 32 yard line. Defensively the Huskies get ready as Wheatley comes in motion and Gerbeck rolls to the right and he's going to put it up deep for Alexander is out of bounds incomplete. It'll be second and ten more covering him. Wheatley. To the 33 yard line. Clifford cleaning up. Parkour up fast from his safety position. Alexander's in motion, and there was movement on the left side of the offensive line. Jenkins may have moved, and let's go downstairs to Julie. Well, Brent, there's a bit of bad news for Washington and for Walter Bailey. As you can see, they're taping his left shoulder right now. He has a slight separation in that left shoulder, and at this point, they're saying he's possible for the second half, but they're giving us no definite word on that. Before the afternoon is over, Alexander in motion toward that side. Gerbeck is looking in that direction. Gerbeck fires underneath to Smith. And he really threaded the needle on that toss. Fields and Hoffman were there with coverage. It is short of a first down, and Michigan will punt. Lousy punt. And Kaufman will let it roll. Huskies get the ball at the 29 yard line after that 33 yard effort. First and ten now for the Huskies. Down by a field goal. Here's the fullback, Turner, to the 31 yard line. Big Lincoln Kennedy over there on the left side had his hands full with Staley. Brunel sprints out to the right. And Brunel is taken down at the 31 yard line. That was Steve Morrison, number 36. He learned from Eric Anderson, and he is an outstanding inside linebacker. Now third and long. One of the things about Morrison with those quick feet, he can also drop back into pass coverage better than an awful lot of inside linebackers in college football. Brunel under pressure steps away from Ware. Great block to give him more time. Brunel goes long complete at the 14 yard line. Mark Brunel to Damon Berry. As bad as they have been running, that's how good they've been passing. 10 of 12 for 188 yards, and Brunel has used eight receivers here in the first half. Kaufman now looking for daylight to the 13 yard line. Option. Brunel. Find out when Morrison fumble out of bounds. Washington ball. But Morrison made a big play against Brunel. They need to get inside the five yard line. So he must have 14 yards or it'll be field goal time for Travis Hansen. Brunel straight back. Throws. Touchdown. Brunel. Hansen gives the Huskies.
Huskies and the Pac-10, a four-point lead over Michigan and the Big Ten. Three minutes and 14 seconds left in the first half. You know, Bo, that's a case of a safety trying to disguise his coverage just a little too long and not getting in a good right. position. Well, he let the end get outside of him. Yeah. Hayes will down it again in the end zone. Here's Wheatley. Hole on the left side. Wheatley for a first down and 20 yards on the run. Mason was coming. Alexander can't get the handle, but credit the pass rush that time. And it's Davis from that fullback look, and it did not fool Hoffman. Smith. The pocket holds up. Gerback goes to Toomer, and he overthrows it. Reeser had the coverage, and Michigan dearly wants to test Walter Bailey's replacement. That was Shane Park. Oh, you caught the two, and that was 21 coming to help out from that zone. Now it is Stapleton. And Kaufman will let it roll dead at the 18-yard line. And it's Jones stepping to the right side. And again, nothing doing with that running game as Aga Khan, Ninaf Aga Khan, who was born in Baghdad, makes the stop for the Wolverines. Tried to open the hole that time for his tailback. And Buster Stanley stepped in there defensively. And timeout is called. Now it's third down for Washington, leading Michigan by four. Kaufman battling. Wardell punting and Mark Brunel is also on the field. Just in case they got a look. And Verdell gets a Washington bounce, and Alexander will let it roll quietly to the 20 yard line with 48 seconds to go. That's a 53 yard punt. Movement by the right tackle. That'll cost the Wolverines five yards as Doherty moved just a little quickly on that. This is Wheatley. Mason was there along with Clifford. Gerbeck to McGee at the 24 yard line with Hoffman all over the tight end. Let's get ready to rumble. Isn't that the promo? Well, here's Leggett and nowhere to rumble against the Washington defense. Jason Shelley back as a return man. He caught the big and somewhat controversial touchdown pass here in the first half. He was giving it up as he was crossing the goal line. The key vote belonged to the official who made the call, however, and the touchdown stands. He still would have been inside the five yard line, wouldn't he? There's the high punt. Shelley. Shelley to the 44 yard line. Brunel to Shelley. First down at the 40 yard line. See, they don't have any timeouts. You just got to get up there. I don't think they're going to get the play on. They're just moving the chains. The clock stop. Yeah, might as well. He's got to go throw it into the end zone. Yeah, he's. See, he wants to get a good huddle call, Brent, and you get a good play, and you take one last shot. Here's the leg. This would be a wonderful time to fake a field goal. His long is 42 long. Bjornsson <laughs> is a converted quarterback. He's the holder. Nowhere, nowhere close. And the first half comes to an end. Michigan trails it by four points. Travis Hansen from Spokane to kick it off. Hayes back deep. They've been kicking away from Wheatley. They have been putting it in Hayes' hands. Nice. And he is stopped at the 12-yard line by Butler. Toomer and Alexander the wideouts. Wheatley with a crease. 
Waitley to the 35, 40. Waitley could explode. He's a former state sprint champion. He'll score. Woo! <laughs> this run gives Wheatley 208 yards on the day. You have just watched the longest run in Rose Bowl history. The former record was held by another Wolverine, Mel Anthony, in 1965, ran 84 yards for a score against Oregon State. Now Tyrone Wheatley has gone 88 and broken that record. And here is Kaufman trying to respond and get something going. He's got to break in the pass midfield with Dwayne Ware catching it from behind. <laughs> Brunel on first down. The swing pass to Matt Jones, the fullback. Dyson takes him out of bounds at the 39-yard line. Barry is the tailback. Turner the fullback. Barry behind Turner, and Stanley rides him down. Turner for the Husky first down. Peoples couldn't hold on, and he blasts his way to the 31-yard line. On first down, Brunel driving the Huskies. Steps away from pressure. Gets past Dyson for a first down. What a wonderful save by Brunel. Damon Berry is the wide receiver to Brunel's left. Brunel handling to Kaufman, and Kaufman steps his way to the 17-yard line. Big toss, complete to the one-yard line. Brunel off a beautiful fake, hits Bruner. Here's Kaufman, touchdown Washington. Hanson. We have got all the drama you would want in a Rose Bowl unfolding here. The crowd today is under 100,000, 94,236. As Hansen kicks it off and Hayes comes out to the 24 yard line. Here he comes. Nothing doing that time. Let's go down below to Julie Moran. Julie, who have you got with you? Well, Brent, I'm with former Michigan quarterback Jim Harbaugh, who, of course, now is with the Chicago Bears. And I want to know who was the tougher coach, Bo Schembechler or Mike Ditka? Well, they're both tough. There's no doubt about that, and they're they're both been great to play for. Mark Brunel has had a terrific day. How how are you gonna? How do you stop him? Well, we got to stop the big plays. I mean, the the kid's throwing a couple of those balls like 65, 70 yards in the air. So uh, it's just a whale of a ball game. A lot of big plays. Why do you think the Big Ten has traditionally had a tough time here at the Rose Bowl? I can't figure that out. You know, I spent a lot of time thinking about it, but uh, I think this is going to be our year to get a win. All right, great. Thanks for stopping by. Back up to you, Brent. Thanks, Julie. Oh, look at that. Gets popped by Fields. Gerbeck, Malvo, Malvo, battling free with a flag down on the far side. And the Wolverines are now backed up close to their own goal line. Gerbeck into the end zone. Incomplete at the 25 yard line. He won a Smith. Another penalty flag. Thrown back by the goal line. Holding. Offense. Decline. Fourth down. And he may have it at the 45. 40. Down at the 35 yard line. 10 yard return for Shelley. They'll run right straight ahead with the draw play and Richard Thomas getting his first carry in the game. So it's Brunel with that quick drop firing to Kralik a little bit behind him and incomplete. Thomas across the 30. Here comes the 44 yard attempt. He's got it. And here the Huskies are ahead of the Wolverines.
Reigns. And again they put it in Hayes hands. This time Hayes blasts to the 24 yard line. Powers. Powers goes back to the left and makes it to the 29 yard line. Davis checking in. He gets the call. Davis to the 31 yard line. Now Powers. Gerbeck. Gerbeck has time. Throws to Alexander. Mason and Fields are lined up defensively on the same side for the Huskies, and they were ready for Davis. And Davis got to the 44. They're coming after him. Underneath the Smith. And it was Reeser who hit him first with Pacor coming over to clean up on the tackle. So McGee will line up and come in motion. And Wheatley, no surprise, and Farr couldn't hey. get him down. He got the first down off a second effort. He may be a little bit short. And so as a result, the Wolverines will punt. And Shelley makes the fair catch at the 17 yard line. Obviously the changes and adjustments made are working for Don James team. Michigan had stopped the running game in the first half but they're having some problems here in this half. Kaufman squeezes through to the 23 yard line. Lined up on the right side and Brunel sprints away with Stanley in pursuit and he fires complete. A catch at the 34 yard line and now it's being waved off. Now the other official comes over and waves it off. And, and a penalty flag came flying also. Did he go out of bounds and then come back in Dick. I think he did here. Look to the left hand side of your screen. See, he's out of bounds right there. You can go out of bounds and come back in in college if you're knocked out of bounds but you can't do it if you're not knocked out of bounds. Brunel slips, regains his balance. Dyson's got him at the five yard line. He lost his balance pulling out, and he just could not avoid the bull rush. Alexander at the 41. Got 45, it. he's got an alley. Alexander to the 13. Alexander's a slot man to Gerbeck's left. Wheatley's in motion and there's movement all over and the Huskies are claiming that Jenkins move. And they're right. <laughs> that is a costly penalty down there going in. It'll make it first and 15. <laughs> Gerbeck. Wheatley with that inside shuffle pass to the 15 yard line and this will still be a long way to go. They've got to get inside the three yard line for a first down as Tommy Smith Red Wheatley on the play. Gerbeck floats one to the end zone and Alexander and out of bounds. It will now be third down for the Wolverines with the ball at the Washington 15 yard line. Gerbeck has three wide receivers. Gerbeck incomplete. Toomer and McGee were in the neighborhood, and so was Reggie Reeser there. Now the 32 yard field goal attempt by Elizabeth. No good. Michigan with a first down at the Washington 13 yard line, and they Fail to score. So now it's Brunel and the Huskies leading it by seven. Two minutes to go in the third quarter. The toss to Kaufman. Fumble. Michigan indicating they've got it. They've got it. Now it's Wheatley. Wheatley breaks the first tackle. For the five. Touchdown, Michigan. For Tyrone Wheatley. 15 carries, 235 yards. He ain't finished yet. <laughs> well, the Wolverines and their fans hope so. Washington would like to see him slow down a little bit. Now it's Barry. Barry. To 
the 28 yard line and it's Washington's turn and you can see the numbers folks it says it all Kaufman could not break that tackle by Hutchinson Take by Brunel snaps it off to a diving receiver over here on the right side. That was Damon Berry, who is Brunel's Jay's brother. To Damon Berry. Outstanding performance here. And Kaufman goes out as a receiver. No running backs in this formation. Brunel running out of trouble, gets past Morrison, and he's down at the 45 with a first down for the Huskies. Back for the final 15 minutes. Brunel off a of fake. He's got Craig. And what a beautiful fake that was by the young Brunel's man. Basketball. Turner and Kaufman. Kaufman. A hole on the outside, and Kaufman past the 35 to the 34 yard line. This on the desk. Brunel. Incomplete, and he was under a furious rush that time. Blitz. Brunel, incomplete, and interference on Ware. Ware had locked up on Damon Berry, and it was quite clear that it was interference. Now first and ten. Off in motion. Turner inside the 20 yard line. Nothing much doing there. Matt Dyson. Brunel for the end zone. Over through Shelley. Did It'll a good third job. Down. Third and long. They have to get to the 10 yard line for a first down. And Brunel stepping to the left fires incomplete Corwin Brown That's and true. interference a late flag he took Kralik down and the flag came flying on Corwin Brown giving the Huskies a first and goal and it's Brunel sprinting won't make it the Wolverines read it properly well, Chris Brunel, Hutchinson there along with Peoples this is Kaufman picking his way, and he is stopped short by Peoples again. Third guy in backfield, but a quarterback that can run. Brunel brings the option. He'll go to Kaufman. Nothing doing. And you know who is there again, Peoples. No good. No good. Leggett is the fullback. And they use Leggett, who powers his way to the 24 yard line on first down. Looks like they're coming after him again. Now Smith backs off, and Gerbeck fires complete to McGee, just short of a first down. Here he is in his final college game, handing off to Leggett, who goes up over the top for a first down. They first wouldn't be tied in. And Gerbeck hands off to Davis. Davis breaks to the 37 yard line. Leggett on the draw. First down. It's going to be very close. Let's see where this linesman spots that ball. And Gerbeck calling the play at the line on third and short. He has to. They're in the bear defense right there. He didn't want to go after it. Davis gets the first down, and he has popped at the 45. Fake to Leggett. There it is. There it is. He's got McGee. Got McGee and Reese are forced to come over and make the stop. Davis. Battling to the 16 yard line. <laughs> Second down. Here's Davis. Good defense. To the 15 yard line. Must get inside the 13 for a first down. Gerbeck. Caught. Touchdown, Michigan. Mackey. A loss 
Sosa back. I can remember a time when I was watching on television back in 1963 when Pete Bethard and Ron Vanderkellen got into a shootout. Now it is the short man, and that is Jones, Matt Jones, bringing it up. I think here it's critical that, that they use high percentage passing. Don't try to get this thing back to a tie situation in one or two plays. Just take your time, be patient. You got a lot of it, and you have all three timeouts. Here's Barry to the 35 yard line. Toss, and here comes Bjornsson looking for that pass. Bjornsson standing in, fires to a diving receiver, but it was too low at midfield. Incomplete. This one will be waved off. Tough spot to use a trick play. Very Alicia tough. In third and long now. That was a real gutsy call at that moment in this game. Brunel, and he picks it up anyway. And it's Mack. Mack across the 40 to the 36. So Brunel calmly comes back on third down with a 28-yard gain. Now it's Brunel. Snaps one off to Kralik. And it's Kralik to the 25 and close to another first down, depending on the spot. 4.04. Now Brunel driving the Huskies. Movement in the middle of the defense. Great anticipation that time by Tony Henderson. It's now second down. Off the fake, Brunel. Brunel for Kralik, and he underthrew him. Incomplete in the end zone with Ware covering. Brunel. Brunel fires inside the 15-yard line for a first down. Another huge, but hold on. Shelley grabbed the ball. I think people's got that thing knocked out before he had control of it, Brent. You're right. So now it's fourth and 11. Brunel. Brunel trying to run for it, won't get it. Michigan's ball, where is there? Real good defensive series, but there's still a lot of time in the clock, and they can't think and can't assume they've already won the football game. They can't run out the clock. They've got to play good football. And Elvis tries to move the ball by tossing to Davis. Davis battling for a couple of yards as Tyrone Wheatley unable to return because of those severe leg cramps. Leading by seven points. This is Powers exploding. 40 and out of bounds at the 44 yard line as Ricky Powers comes in with a huge 24 yard run. Now it's first and 10 for the Wolverines. They're audible. You're in the, that bear defense again. Powers. Huskies have got to come up with it and get after him right now. Take some shots. Bring them all. Now Washington. Certainly trying to get the ball. It's Powers. Powers trying to cover it up and go down as Smith came in to help Mason. Snapping it on two or three here on this third down. Powers and Michigan forced to punt. Stapleton is partially blocked. Washington takes over at the Michigan. 45-yard line with a minute three. They have a first down. Brunel throws high and incomplete to Shelley. Brunel firing high and incomplete, almost intercepted as Maloney had a shot at it. Brunel high and incomplete. He had Bruner set up for the first down. He threw the ball a little bit high, and the Huskies are down to fourth. <laughs> Brunel snaps it incomplete. Michigan's ball. Gerbeck with that tight formation will kneel down at Wisconsin. I should say Washington. <laughs> 
out of timeouts. This feels like beating Wisconsin to you, doesn't it, Bo? <laughs> getting 38 <laughs> points. Well, yeah, not exactly. Not when you get 38 in the road, Bo. <laughs> Tell you, both teams really, really played hard, but they got after each other, but good. Excellent football game. Fun to present.